next speaker today. Well, you see, modern technologies are awesome. You see that now people can present even being asleep. You see that it's very, very early morning, I would say maybe more night in Brazil, but still our um, dear Dr. Nato Pignataro will be presenting even though he is asleep. So thanks to the technologies. Um, so let's go and uh, give the word to Dr. Nato Pignataro. He is our uh, main representative in Brazil, very, very active one. Um, he is helping us in uh, development of a new program in the BioWall software devoted to dental interpretation. So where you can correlate the meridians and the five, uh, the five elements with the teeth. And uh, that can also help not only in dentistry, but also by just looking at what's going on. Um, in the mouth, you can understand uh, it's like another mirror of what's going on inside the body without opening the body. So um, he's helping us in this development too now. Um, so let's move on. Let's. Hello, everybody. I'm very happy to be able to make another presentation at the CIS Congress. This year, we completed 10 years of patternship with the BioWell family. Today, I will tell you this story and also the reason why I call the BioWell device a quantum scanner. Our story begins in 2012, when I did my second post-graduation in acupuncture at the University of Araras, where I was teaching dentistry for a long, long time ago. I decided to look for some equipment that could help us to uh, diagnose the energetic patterns of acupuncture. So I decided to find out if bilatography could help us, and uh, I did a review on the subject as a conclusion uh, course paper. Of all papers I selected, I started reading this one uh, with Professor Korotkov and Dmitrylov. When I was reading this work in my office, the phone rang. I was, uh, it was a friend from Brasilia saying he was uh, with an essential oil researcher with a Krillian photo equipment. His name was Krishna Madapa. I spoke with him for a long time and uh, he told me that uh, in less than one month uh, there would be a lecture in Brazil with Professor Dmitry Love at a Congress of Vegetal Homeopathy uh, in the state of Paraná. One month later, Dimitri came to my clinic and the first course on digital bilatography has, uh, was held in Brazil. He brought me a pro-camera device and so I began a study in a acupuncture clinic to see if the equipment could help us uh, diagnosis the energy patterns of acupuncture. In the middle uh, is my friend Uamori Carneiro, who called me from Brasilia. We then compared the energy patterns verified by the students in the course with bioletography exams, and there was a great correlation between them. This is uh, only an example of uh, spleen, uh, spleen pancreas deficiency patterns and the results obtained by uh, bioletography. The most interesting thing is that the, uh, we also made the records after the treatments and uh, could follow up on the results of the acupuncture therapy. And you can see the good results uh, of uh, treatment uh, with acupuncture recorded by the BioL device. Now, after 10 years with the launch of BioL3, uh, we have returned to the same university to repeat the experiment. On the left side is Professor Juan, Juan Cabanillas, uh, coordinator of the postgraduate acupuncture course. I thank him for the allowing the whole research to take place. 
This is a patient who coincidentally was uh, in the treatment 10 years ago and who has now returned to the clinic. And so we meet him uh, again and very happy with this. After performing the medical history, tongue examination and pulse examination, the pattern of disharmony is determined by the uh, course participants. And then the pattern is reviewed by the teacher and the course coordinator. Thus, the pattern of disharmony can be evaluated and compared between the principles of uh, traditional Chinese medicine and the results obtained in the uh, digital bilatography. After determining the patterns performed by the students of the acupuncture course, we, uh, we will be able to establish the correlation with the bilatography records as well as compare the results between the three types of equipments. We will finish these collections in October uh, 2023 and perhaps establish more correlation, uh, correlation between uh, bilatography and the patterns of uh, Chinese medicine, such uh, five elements, and also uh, the interaction between the microsystem of the body, uh, like a dental uh, microsystem. Maybe we can uh, put this this uh, kind of exam in the bio software. Maybe. Okay. Uh, when uh, we observe the results of bilatography, we notice a good correlation with the signs and symptoms, as well as with the patterns of energetic disharmony verified by examination performed by the students. In this graphic, uh, we can see the spleen, the disharmony is the, in the endocrine system is the only system, only organ with uh, revealed by the, the software. We can see an energy diagram and, and the balance tab uh, signs of the deficiency of the spleen. And the all organism in low energy is very common in this kind of deficiency. Uh, this way, a very a, a big correlation with the uh, acupuncture founts and the bioletography founts. And the right side, up right side, we can see the treatment after, uh, before and after treatment. This time we decided to study comparatively the three equipments, the BioWell 1, the BioWell 2, and the BioWell 3. After determining the patterns performed by the students of the acupuncture course, we will be able to establish the correlation with the bioletography bio records. Okay, these are records in the original color of BioWell 1, and here with BioWell 2, and here with BioWell 3. Despite the, uh, the clear difference between the logs, we can notice that the abnormalities or entropies of the sectors is very, very correlated showing that uh, there is in, indeed something affecting the particular sector. This shows that really you have a communication between the sectors of the fingers and the organs in the system, because in the all exams of all equipments, the same sectors are uh, with uh, an abnormality uh, uh, projections. There are the same records with BioWell 1, now visual, visualized. Uh, there are the same records with BioWell 1, visualized with the new uh, 15 color palette. Uh, that allows us to see the point of higher energy more clearly. This looks very good. The same with BioWell 2 and the same with BioWell 3. Here again, the three right hands scans observed simultaneously. See how there is a lot of similarity of between sectors. Uh, we can see the same sectors like this. This example, the uh, bellow, we have a, a, a very similar sectors 
of course, with, with differently accuracy and sensitivity, but the same sectors. Here, observe the energy field tab. We can observe the similarity of the more in a more objective way. It's more easy to see. Like this, this region, this sector is very similar in BioL2 and BioL3. Yeah. Of course, with different sensitivity, but very similar uh, projections. With the overlapping of the tracing, we can see clearly the similarity between the results obtained and the three equipments, demonstrating once again the assertiveness of the method, of course, with the different degrees of sensitivity. Here, the comparison of the chakra tabs. See that the energy levels in BioL1 is very, very, very higher, but the characteristics of BioL1 is only this way. But the patterns of the chakras remain similar in the three equipments. The same is observed in the analysis tab, so that this, this stress level is much more significant in BioL3, and the energy levels is much, much higher in BioL1. Here again, it's demonstrated that despite the difference in sensitivity, the sectors corrected perfectly, excluding the sensitivity is very, very similar the, the sectors in three equipments. Here we can see the three equipments overlapping in energy tab. Uh, uh, like I told you was before, the energy level of BioL1 is very higher, but the sectors is very similar among the three equipments. Here, a comparison of the yin yang tab. Many Brazilian universities have read, acquired by well and air conditioned reserves. For doctoral thesis, have already been done among them one with acupuncture and phytotherapy at UNICAMP. Now, we are participating in the sense group led by Professor Michel Hospital at the Federal University of São Carlos, where we were able to present digital uh, bioelectrography. Okay, very well. Here then began a second part of our lecture, which deals with the communication between the sectors and the organs and viscera. Everyone should be aware that we have four signaling pathways and that to maintain the homeostasis of such complex organisms with trillions of cells working synchronously. We need then an ultra-fast system that connects all the cells as if it were a bathtub, interlacing the whole body. The system seems to be a quantum informational system of that complements the other slower but also important systems. A microchannel system was proposed by Bohan in the 60s and then called the primovascular system in the 90s. A system very similar to energetic channels of acupuncture, which would be formed by uh, microtubules of actin, tubulins, and collagen capable of transporting subatomic particles, such as electrons, protons, and also biophotons. This you already know. This you already know. So, our puzzle is divided into two parts. The coherent flu of excited electrons, the excitons, and also the fractals connection between the sectors and the organs and viscera. Fractally can be explained by the tensegrity of connective tissue. It has a fractal structure that repeats itself from the microscopic level to the microscopic level. Thus, we can understand how microsystems like the Sujok mirror the globality of the organism. Recently, research shows 
that tubulins and microtubules have a specific resonance at frequencies between gigahertz and terahertz and playing an important role in cell communication. Cell membranes also interact with the propagation of biophotons bio through channels. Well, so now we are talking about quantum states or quantum coherence. This was already proposed many years ago with, for example, Every Schrodinger in his book What is Life? Many biological processes cannot be explained in the traditional way of classical Newtonian mechanics. It seems that nature has found a way to maximize, it, maximize biological reactions and overcome energetic difficulties, such uh, as what occurs for photosynthesis to be a bioelectrical conduction of uh, excited electrons, p electrons, through protein channels in the organism. Apparently, the strange behaviors of subatomic particles studied in a controlled environment, such uh, as that of the low temperatures without interfering noises, could not be repeated in living organisms, or, if they did occur, not is in a sufficiently long time to have an biological effect. But, apparently, this idea is changing rapidly. The biological noise is beginning to be understood in the another way. The molecular vibration, instead of causing a decoherence, actually vibrates maintaining the coherence state for a time, and even if ultrafast, long enough to cause a significant biological effect. This has been discovered thanks to the evolution of technology that enables uh, us to evaluate biological phenomena in a more accurate manner and with greater resolution, as in the case of the study of biospins in vivo, something that would have been impossible a short time ago. An example in this study developed by uh, Professor Clarice Ayello in the UCLA, uh, University of California. Uh, Diamonds that have a flaw in the atomic structure often have a nitrogen atom taking the place of a carbon. When we shine the laser beam into the vacancy, it fluoresces, fluorescent uh, phenomena. This spin down to up activation makes this diamond a micromagnetomer of uh, spin one, charge one. What is more interesting? is that it's cryptochrome, a type of flavin molecule uh, that also reacts to the electromagnetic fields, reacts in the same way and it's present in all cells of our body. It works like a biological magnetometer and has an uh, important uh, uh, role in the biochemical reactions. Apparently, the phase between spin, and, uh, spin up and spin down reacts to the weak and ultra-weak electromagnetic fields, functioning as a cellular switch for biochemical reactions. Even if for a short period of time, the loss of a quantum superposition of spins can determine uh, different reactions uh, in uh, different directions according to electromagnetic activation and determine uh, important biological changes. It seems to be the system used by animals to georeference themselves. Cellular fluorescence is sensitive to weak electromagnetic fields and may signif signify the understanding of cellular interaction with the flu of excited electrons coming from the acupuncture energy channels, thus creating a cause and effect relationship, as well as correlation with external interfering electromagnetic fields, such as those from cell phones and routers, uh, with a non local effect. In this other example, courtesy of Peter Fillinger from Germany, he has shown that growing 
tadpoles inside the high quality Faraday cage generates 30% tadpoles with deformities, leaving organisms depend on weak electromagnetic field stimuli for their perfect development. Ultra strong electromagnetic fields do not seem to interfere in the same way. Recent research shows that microtubules uh, are efficient conductors of light and energy transfer. The same occurs after the activation of acupuncture points by LED light, provided it the, uh, the right frequency and right power. The activation of energy channels in a non-local manner can be accompanied by uh, clinical thermography. The activation of kidney and spleen pancreas channels can be accompanied in the treatment of renal pathologies, chronic pathologies. Professor Nihalval from Germany has measured the capacitance of the acupuncture channels and also the bioresonance of the energy points. This can also be done with biowell in several ways. One of them I will present through a case that is very frequent in our records. Here we see alteration in the sectors corresponding to the thyroid gland common in case of chronic alterations. In this specific case, the Pearson examined has benign nodules in the thyroid gland, discovered more than 15 years ago. Look at the double layer appearance in the thyroid area. The Pearson has no scars on, on his fingers in these regions. Here, after 10 consecutive resistors of the sector made with the examination of the one finger before and after the sublingual use uh, of the three globules of a frequency vibrational medicine. After five minutes, the record after therapy demonstrates sectorial entropy drop. Decrease in normalized area of brightness is the thyroid sector. There was also a decrease in normalized energy in the thyroid sector. The decrease in entropy can be clearly seen in the biograms after therapy. In this way, it becomes more and more evident that we possess a quantum informational system that connects our whole organism in a global way and at ultra-fast speed. The informational flows follows connections that connected all organs and viscera and is reflected in the microsystem in a fractal way. In addition, the mental state, which is reflected in the emotional state, can result in an important imbalance in death, a death to the interference of the environment can take us out of balance. Our capacity for adaptation, mind and body purification techniques can play a significant role in maintaining health, well-being and longevity. Therefore, methods of early assessment of these imbalances can be of a great value. Biowell is a system that provides us in a user-friendly way and, as I said in the beginning of the lecture, true the informational records of changes in quantum coherence of the informational system. Quantum biology has advanced rapidly in the recent years due to the development of technologies capable of record the infinitely small and its consequence on the human physiology. And many of the recent discoveries corroborate the ancient collision of traditional medicines. The new connecting with the world the West connected with the East. This is the essence of biowell technology. This is why the name of quantum biometric scanner comes in the handy, uh, collecting pre clinical information, thus providing important feedback to modulate our uh, lifestyle. 
Thus, we end our presentation and take the opportunity to invite everyone to Professor Krotkov's coming to Brazil after five years, when we held basic course with almost 100 people and advanced course with more than 50 people, and also to invite everyone to participate in the Resonance Symposium that will be held in Sao Paulo on November 18 and 19, where we will deal with quality of life, longevity, and well-being from viewpoint of informational biophysics, quantum medicine, among other interesting topics, with speakers from various countries. Come and participate and get to know the Brazilian hospitality. I thank you for your attention, the organizers on this event, and leave my contacts for any questions or conversations. I'm at your disposal and thank you very much and I, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. A very informative uh, lecture by Dr. Neto Pignataro. It was very short, you see, but well, if you go into any of the research that he is doing and he is working and collaborating with multiple universities in Brazil. So you can understand the scope is really huge, big scale. So um, he just made for us a general overview of what's going on there. So as you can see in uh, Brazil, this kind of technology is accepted very well, even on the governmental um, institutional levels. So that's why Biwell is developing in Brazil with a good speed. Well, of course, thanks to Dr. Neto Pignataro because he's uh, applying lots of efforts for this.